Hi, I'm Donnie. Welcome to another edition of TheRave.com. I'm here with Kale from Art of Dying. Hey, brother. How you doing? Hey, how's it going? Thanks hey. for taking the time. Thanks for having me, man. Just going to do a couple questions, uh, and then you guys will get to rocking tonight with uh, Disturb. Yeah, it's almost that time to sound check. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, well, so so far, how's the tour going with Disturb? Uh, it's been great. You know, man, we've been out on the Avalanche tour for the last two months. That just ended. That was with like Stone Sour and Theory of Dead Man, Skillet and Hailstorm. That just ended. So now we're just doing some one-offs and festivals. So we've been playing with Disturb kind of on the weekends at these big festivals tonight here. And we're at uh, Rock on the Range tomorrow in Ohio. Oh, really? Are you guys, uh, so you're driving right from here to Ohio? Yeah, it kind of sucks, but I think we're going to have to leave at midnight or something. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right after the show, just We like to egg. stick around and party Who, a bit. Who's, uh, who's playing uh, Rock on the Range tomorrow with you guys? Pretty sure everybody. <laughs> I know it's a pretty big festival. Yeah, it's huge, man. I think Avenged Sevenfold is headlining, and, and just, yeah, everybody. Right on, right yeah. on. Um, your new album, Vices and Virtues, um, you guys recorded you, uh, recorded with super producer Howard Benson. He's done, like, everybody. Yeah. Uh, what was it like to work with him? It was great, man. He's... Uh, those guys are super pro, and so, you know, we went to L.A. and spent five months pretty much banging off the record. And they're all super good guys and really good at what they do, you know. We actually did uh, five songs off the record with Dan Donegan from Disturbed, so. Oh, he re he record, uh, played he, guitar? No, no, he, oh, he, he produced, oh, produced? Okay. five songs off the record. So we, we did the whole record in L.A. with Howard, and then we redid a few songs and cut a couple new tracks, and uh, Danny wanted to produce. We went to Chicago, and that turned out fantastic as well you know just a little bit different we i think we got a bit of the la shine and a bit of the chicago grit both both on the record you know i think they went well together yeah that's that's really cool yeah howard benson i mean he's done so much stuff it's like his, oh, yeah. his track record it's amazing like who he's all worked with and pretty, stuff. pretty much whatever he touches turns to gold i think yeah, exactly exactly <laughs> yeah. uh you guys uh signed to intoxication records which is dave Dr uh, Drummond and uh, dan donegan's label yeah how did how did that come to be did you guys know them or uh, it's a funny story, man. You know, we we were an independent band in Canada for a bunch of years and uh, just slugging it out, doing Canadian tours on our own independently, van and trailer. And we worked real hard online and worked really hard to get the CDs out to whoever we could get it out to. And, and uh, just through a friend of a friend of a friend, our independent CD <clears throat> excuse me, fell into uh, Dan Donegan's hands. And uh, he... He gave it a few listens and he really liked it and he started following us online and he saw that we were working really hard and stuff and one day out of the blue our, uh, our singer johnny his phone rang and he's like hey this is dan i play in a band called disturbed just want to let you know that uh i love what you guys are doing i love the record and, and i want to work with you at some time and they just chatted for like an hour just about the business and what disturbed's been up to and how they got to where they're at and what art of dying was doing and then fast forward a year and danny called again he's like uh we're about to hit up a U.S. tour, and we want you guys to come on the road with us. We're like, that's a, yeah, it's an awesome opportunity. Yeah, exactly. Right there. So he pretty much found us and gave us gave us the shot, you know. So we ended up doing like three American tours with them. We didn't even know at the time, but uh, we didn't know that they had intoxication reprise. They hadn't signed any bands, so um, David and Danny were side stage watching us pretty much every night and every sound check, and we just thought they were digging the music, checking it out, but. In hindsight, I think all that was a bit of a showcase, you know, those couple tours and and uh, trial by fire. They want to see how how you did. Yeah, on the, exactly. On the yeah. And then next step, they just called us again. We're like, we need you guys to come to Chicago, and so they wanted to sign us to Intoxication. Were you guys the first signing to the label? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, right had, actually had uh, the label for seven years, but never signed a band to it. You know, they were waiting for. That right, man. yeah, so that's you guys. That's I guess pretty so. exciting. That's pretty <laughs> I exciting. hope so. <laughs> uh, your son, well, uh, you guys are from Canada. You guys were, you know, churning out things, doing things before you were signed to yeah. Intoxication Records. Get yeah. through this uh, was on its official soundtrack to WWE's next. Yeah. You guys have done a couple things with WWE. How, how did that come to be? Was that yeah. after re reprising Intoxication? Was that before? That was uh, pretty much around the same time, and our pretty much our manager, Jeff Pataglia, he manages Disturbed as well. But uh, he just hooked that up. He knows the cats over there, and they're looking for a good rock song for their, to fans. be their theme song. Or whatever. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, you know. Macho Man died yesterday. Was I my know, favorite. dude. <laughs> it's, it's disappointing. Yeah, it is disappointing. Yeah. How, how old was he? I mean, he was 58. <laughs> See, actually, that's for wrestling. That's pretty pretty old. So. I guess so. Yeah, like, he came, I'm not much of a wrestling fan, but Macho Man was like my favorite. I mean, so. Me too, man. Those guys are pretty hard on, on themselves, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, right on. Um, one more question before we go. What's what's next for you guys on the horizon after all, all this summer? Do you guys got a lot of festival dates? But like, yeah, another not, album you guys working on? Or no, you know, the album's been out two months. We've been touring solid since then, so we pretty much go till the end of May doing all these big festivals and stuff. We're gonna take a few weeks off, and uh, 
not 100% on July. We might do a little Canadian run, but then uh, a big tour that just got announced a couple days ago is the Uproar Festival, and we're doing that. That starts uh, the last week of August. It's seven weeks long. That's with uh, Avenged Sevenfold, Three Days Grace, which my cousin sings in that band, so I'm sto stoked to be on the road oh. with those guys. <laughs> oh, right on, right on. I didn't know that. And uh, Pull It For My Valentine, and Escape the Fate, that's gonna be Seven Dust. Badass does. Oh, All Seven Dust, yeah. That's going to be a badass tour. Yeah, it's going to be off the hook, so. All right, I'm looking forward to oh, that. so are we, man, yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to say to the fans before we go? Uh, come on and see another dying show whenever you can. We're pretty high energy, and we like to have a good time, so don't be shy. Come say hey. Gail from Art of Dying, thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me, brother. I appreciate it, too. Anytime. Check this interview out and more at therave.com. See you guys.